As has tempers flaring tonight, protesters drawing attention to Confederate statues were met by counter protesters. New here at 10 o'clock, Jeff Paul, live near City Hall. Well, Kaylee, some might not even realize it, but right here in downtown Dallas, there is a monument, this one right here, that honors those who died fighting for the Confederacy. It's right near City Hall on Marilla and Young Street, and for those who do know about it, it incites some very painful memories. Ask us what we feel I about want it. you to ask yourself the question. Heritage or hate? Or will we continue to white supremacy to remain? They are standing symbols of a once divided nation that at times still remains at odds. Because they're lies. They're lies. Lies. They're lies. lies. They're Paid for by the daughters of the Confederacy in 1896, the statues feature the likes of former Confederate President Jefferson Davis. This represents racism and the murder of millions of people who look just like me. Hermela Haile wants the statues and the monument to come down. We can say different types of ways how these relics are important, but at the end of the day, they represent a time where I would have been just something you can kill, just be property. Most of this group gathered at Pioneer Park feels the same way, but not all. The people that want this taken down, if they get this taken down, well, then they'll go find something else to take down. Festus Alcock of the Sons of Confederate Veterans says the memorial is an important part of history and his family. We're taking pride in our heritage and honoring our ancestors. He says it's not about racism or slavery. It's a piece of granite and stone that's laid there to honor the fallen. That's it. Haile and others strongly disagree, saying it's a painful reminder. Well, if it's just marble and out of the way, then we wouldn't have arguments like this, and it wouldn't be such a hard, hard thing to get rid of. Now, the group that wants to see these statues comes, come down, they say that uh, they are working on a formal petition right now. We also reached out to the city of Dallas to get its take on the matter, but haven't heard back yet. Reporting live here in downtown Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. All right, Jeff, thank you for that.